Hey everybody, how you doing? Hey, in anticipation of Talladega next week with both the Xfinity and the Monster Energy Cup cars, I came to Talladega here and got my camera set up, so let's just take a quick look at these. I ran an artificial intelligence race, 10 lap shootout, just to get a, a feel for these cameras. As we're seeing here, this is the front row Joe cam as we leave the grid. We'll get back to Joe a little bit later here. Gives you a really good speed shot. This is what I call the Sunoco broadcast cam. For the most part, these cameras are located in the Sunoco signs on the edges of the track. You'll even see just a little piece of them occasionally. By the way, the collection I am using is the 1998 Daytona 500 AI collection by Brian Hicks. There is a link in the video description to that page on trading paints. That camera there was the spotter on the middle of the backstretch, not in the Sunoco sign. But this one here is actually physically within the sign. You'll see the guy's heads, I think, as we slowly pan by. There they are. This track is so big, it was interesting when I was placing these cameras. Okay, now this camera here is the, the Geico flag stand cannon. Along the lines of what I was saying when I was placing these cameras, it was interesting to see the field of view from certain areas because this track is just so damn big. Like this sign, this camera right here, until you get focused and pulled back, you really don't realize this is what the flag man sees. See, it looks like they're gonna drive off past him, but no. Here they come. The go for hole cam. This is in some of my other tracks. Pretty good speed shot. All right, these are ground level speed action cameras. CBS, Fox, they, they do this occasionally. I tried the static speed shots where the camera did not follow the cars, and that just does not work here at Talladega. Other shorter tracks, it works fantastic. You get a sense of how high the banking is there. And now out to a safer barrier wall camera. Same thing, speed shots. I've got this on a lot of my other tracks. But boy, these cameras are just working out spectacular here at Talladega. Again, the track's just so big. You can, you can have the camera set up for a longer time period. This is the pole cam. This camera is actually located atop of the scoring pylon. I've got this on some other tracks also, but man, here at Talladega, this just works spectacular. I think I'm going to be using this one quite a bit. One 360 degree revolution camera shot, no breaks, no cuts. I think this is going to be pretty good for showing action here at Talladega.
but that one there, man, I like that. I like that. Now, uh, photo finish camera. Just kind of a potpourri of shots here, and then we'll, uh, we've got a caution coming up, and then I'll do a pit stop. Here's a scene that Joe sees again, front row Joe. Caution. All right, pit cam. This is actually the same as the low speed cam, low level speed cam, but uh, you know, since it's following the car, it'll follow me down pit road. And the pit box camera. This is pretty much standard here in the Xfinity now for me. Just a standard blimp cam. Here we'll take a lap with Front Row Joe and see it as he sees it. Joe doesn't have a very good view of the back stretch. But man, Joe feels the thunder as they come through the trioval down to the start finish line. Okay, this is the flag stand view down the back stretch. CBS used to have this camera. You know, if somebody gets upside down and gets some air, we'll get some long distance shot here. And again, back to the pole camera. I think this is going to work out really, really well. Ooh, they get together. I tap. I get through. I get through. No damage. Keep rolling. This is the white flag. Chad Little in the John Deere car. He's down. All right. There's Dale Jarrett in the Ford Quality. Give me a push. No, he's going to try to take me on the inside. Hey, I'm running your UPS uh, 
19 or 2000s here, Dale. I'm just gonna pull right away and pull away from you. Good run on the 84. This is the white flag coming down into the tri -oval. This is the flag stand view. Oh! Elliot gets turned. I think that was by Sadler. I'm up in the wall hard. I tag uh, Elliot. Wow. Let's take a look at that. Yeah, I just cannot clear Elliot hard into the wall. The car pirouettes about 10 feet off the ground, almost gets over. Left front tire just dislocated from the car and embedded in the hood. Hard, hard, hard hit for the UPS Ford. Way up in the air for those pirouettes. Oh, this is going to be good. I just, I, I had nowhere to go. Any jer jerking on the wheel too hard would have put me in the wall anyway. The roof cam. Hard impact with the 94. Hard impact with the safer barrier. Almost on its side, pirouettes about six feet off the ground. And then come crashing down, all four down. Pretty lucky I didn't go over there. All right, in car. I thought they were going to stay down. Elliot came up a little bit. Nowhere to go. Almost over. Roof flaps deployed. Uh, hood flaps deployed. And then the car settles down on all four tires. Well, that was the checkered flag, so let's try to get limp across the start finish line here, Dave. Come on, come on, come on. Car's running, barely. All right, cross the stripe. Look at that wheel embedded in the hood. But uh, good bearings, they're still, uh, tire's still spinning pretty hard. Limp around uh, pit road and go visit the guys. Car handles really good with three tires. Tire came to a stop finally. All right, visiting Chad and the boys. All right, well, that's a preview of Talladega next week. Well, hopefully not me crashing, but my camera views. Hey, thanks for coming along for the ride, and we'll see you next time.